I put timestamps on all parts of the videos. I can watch to the end if you guys like. Anything you gotta say? You know, it's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to be a, finally a part of the FS Garage. Be in the FS Garage. Like, this is such a surreal experience. So, thank you, man. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You already know. He wanted the song. Is that the biggest hammer you see? Yes. This is my little brother. He's nine years old. And this is our new project that we're going to rebuild in one day using a parts card that we accidentally parted out because unfortunately it was rusted and not worth fixing. So let's get straight to this wonderful video. Well, it doesn't have no mufflers for some reason. We got a flat tire. The tires over there is slick. This is not looking so good so far. Alrighty, so we got the car here all together and we're about to inspect the damage but so far not too bad we had the fender the headlight the bumper the hood the grill looks kind of fine but has a little bit of scuff uh, but we have grills radar support is definitely bent it's pushed in fender brackets bent we this took a nice good hit here but Okay, this is broken. It has like a little hole right there. But the biggest thing that we need to figure out is if the chassis is bent. So we got to take off this tape and see what's up. When yeah, I was looking on, on when I saw the pictures, that was the first thing I was looking at. But the chassis looked pretty straight. Check the oil. Oh, this is not really a good. Oh, we really gotta check this oil. All right, first things first, we're gonna start taking apart the car, oh, see what's it. damaged, see if this car's worth fixing, and see what parts that we have to order, what parts do we already have, and what does it exactly need to be repaired again to be fully and functional first thing we'd like to do is put it out see what's missing see what's damaged change the oil okay. go to the dealership see whatever is worth buying from there seeing what parts do we have here and then from there fix the car all in one time in one place these tires are pretty bad they're pretty smooth so i'm guessing this is how the accident occurred but could be wrong The tire is extremely flat. Uh, I hope it's not like going to be leaking. Hopefully, it holds it for at least a bit. And it seems like a lot of these lug nuts are damaged. Let's see how this goes. So, now we're going to give this thing a nice deep clean because it's oh, very, very dusty. So let's get straight into covering everything up and getting into cleaning this thing up. Just finished putting some gas in the car. Did it just die? Uh, I got nothing. I got it's blinking. Trust the old booster. Much better. 
that this thing doesn't have any mufflers right now. Oh man. Zero point five to where you can see the car. Watch where you go. Go. I'm rolling. It don't want to start. Bro. No, on on the battery. What? Right here? Yes. I'm wasting my space. I'm gonna put it on this. Oh, so now this one? Yes. Okay. This. Yes. Put it on. There. See? That's how I knew it was on. Alright, now I'm gonna start it. Oh, you gonna start it? There you go. So we're here with my little brother and we're here about to fix this destroyed car that we have purchased from the auction. I was kind of by mistake, but not kind of, but either way it's here. Now we're going to be trying to pull the radio support, not perfectly, but at least to where it looks kind of normal and also hitting the hood to where it looks also kind of normal. So let's get straight into doing just that. Anything you got to say? You know, it's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to be finally a part of the FS Garage, be in the FS Garage. Like, this is such a surreal experience. So thank you, man. Like, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know. He's one of the sons. Anyways, let's get to work. Time to cut the tape. Damn, that's oh. sharp. That's sharp. Uh, ooh, that bumper is cut up, boy. Look at that. Look at that flex. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you already know. It's fucking. Now we're going to uh, straighten out the hood right here. Hit it with a hammer? Yeah, we're going to hit it with a hammer. It's hammer time, baby. Yeah, bro. All right, so which... Is that the biggest hammer you see? Yes. All right. Now, we're going to hit it... Gentle? No, not gentle. Hard. Oh, so... But right to... on this point, right here. So... Hit it right there. So, right here. Yes. All right. All right. No, harder. harder. As hard as you can, right there. No, like, like, like this. Oh. Like that. Oh, okay. Okay. Bro! That's it. Alright, now we're going to pull it from right here. Um, it's pretty crunched. It took like like that and mangled everything up. So what are we gonna do? So right now we're gonna be pulling this because someone like did a final smash on this. You know, yeah, 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 they, yeah, they yeah, got yeah. the final the uh, structure. Tool. We're gonna use, we're gonna be using one of these things. What are these boys? What even? My ears. It's what do you? Alright, hold this. Got this thing in precision. Well, I put, put yeah, put it in. Put it in. Put it in. Whoa. 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 I'm going. Wait. 
Alright. Ready? Yeah. Sorry if your ears hurt, mine's hurt more. I'm sorry, what? If your ears hurt. Your ears hurt? No. Why are y'all trying to start another four point eight? I go. Oh. Nice. Oh. Last one. Oh. Very nice. Oh. Oh. What did you do? I'm straightening the hood. Yes, we are. Ah, yes. No. I mean, it looks, right. it looks smoother. It looks better. It looks smoother. smoother. But comparing this... Oh, that's the thing where... So it's going to turn, turn from this to this, right? Uh, no, we're just going to face the hood. This is just, you know, for now. Uh, why you Bro! Smash it! Smack it! Smack it! Smack it! Dude, you're not removing the evidence. Whoa. Whoa. Someone's here. Let's see who's here. Ooh la la la. Who's Ooh, here? Ooh, it's a Toyota Yaris. Ooh. Looking fresh. Looking fresh. Looking fresh. Alrighty, so we made our way to the dealership where we buy some of our parts where it's worth paying it from the dealer. Of course, it's better to have that OEM quality sometimes. And with our previous builds, we did use a lot of dealer parts or OEM parts. And we got a couple parts that we needed. Some were still on back order. So he was here to get our stick and a couple other pieces. And we went back to the garage to get our parts car cleaned up. Time to get cleaning. And there was no oil. Sadly. No point. So we're gonna change the oil. We bought a new one. Uh, yeah, that's the right one. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so we got the socket. Yeah, Time to change the oil. The okay. the cameraman can't come here. Not too bad. Let me for the excess noise. My sister is uh, cleaning the van. Oh, I'm not going to Come in the... Leave her in the juice comments. Inside? Three. Uh, uh. Yeah. Let me come. Go, go, gadget, mustard, guys. Alright, so now we're cleaning the oil filter. Oh. Yeah, let, let go of the mic. Yeah. What I tell you? We're going to need to get an air filter oh. tool. Wait, wait, what is uh, it? Usually it's here, unless I'm wrong. Oh, it's right here. I don't know what's wrong with me, so I'm bringing boom. Let's go. I think this one's right. I can grab it. I haven't changed a little. Chop it! Oh, this thing is tight. Need help? Nope. How am I supposed to get stronger? No, this one, I don't think you can do it. You wow. can break it easy. What, am I too powerful for that? Yep. All right, now, I gotta get something like that. I don't make a mess everywhere. Drag it back. Got the, got the, what is that called again? Oh yeah, the Towel. rag. Cause I don't even know what's gonna happen. Whoa. Whoa. I'm surprised. Good. Wait. It's not peeing no more. Man, you're a bad Whoa. recorder. So be smooth like this. Well, wow. 
I need to be clean. That's disgusting. Anyways. I don't know. I don't know. No. Huh? No. It was like soft. Sure. Are we gonna put like a little bit on there or mm -hmm. no? On here? A little bit. Yeah, but then when we... A little bit. Okay. Are you clean? Yes. Alright, let me put the screw back underneath. Does that... Does he have a crush washer? Yeah, it's in there. 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 Yeah, I got this one in the Subaru dealer. Is so, the funnel? I'm gonna put some Penzi oil. Are you put oil? I do. You have to do a mess. Eh, hey, my fingers, my fingers. Put it more up, but that doesn't spill. All right, go slowly. Slow. Okay. Good. Tell me when to stop. Can I stop now? No, check, there's a line here. You see it? Flip oh, Rama. Hmm? What is this again? What is that? Okay. Wow. Oh, now I'm gonna be cold. Can you see the light? The light's up there. Nice one, Bella. It's terrible. How am I supposed to be cold now? Mm. Nothing. It hit. It hit. It hit. Yeah. That look ugly. I'm surprised he's supposed to be rusty. You need to rusty. That look ugly. Harsh? We're good. First, you're gonna put the ignition on and then start it. Wait, what's the ignition? When it goes beep, beep, beep. Any day now. Start it again! Alright! We're not starting! <laughs> we have the car in the air and we're gonna start to disassemble the car and have it ready like that we can Prepare everything to do framework and test fit all the pieces. What was that? Well, it's not framework, but you know, the rear spore is bent as well as this piece. And to check all the damage, see what we have to order, see what we need to replace. <laughs> Here. I need to take out the bumper, zip tie, should be, should be all that. Yep, I'll put out for the bottom. Take out the headlight. Oops. 
Anyways, look at that. Maybe I'll put the whole thing. Yeah, but it's, it's better to put the whole thing. It's cracked right here. Right here, if we got, oh, we're good. We replaced it from here, right? Yeah. And what about this here? Yeah, two, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to bank over here. Right, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the best thing we can do. Interesante esto para ver qué es lo que tengo que hacer aquí. Okay. In the fender? Take it off. All right. Let's get Take it off this. Lighting is not on my side. Easy. Well, oh, that's out. Yes, sir. I go the headlight. Oh, she blows. More ammo. This side looks good. Not too bad. Broke the bracket from here, but that's not an issue. We should have. Uh, I'll leave all that there for now. Let's see what else I have to take out. They got the bumper too? Oh, I come out right away? I wonder if this little guy is able to take out these bumper bolts. Let's see. Oh, rusty? Oh, like nothing. Okay. Leave that one on there. For now. Like butter. Put that together. This is why you work on Subarus, they're simple. Huh? Come on. Oh, oh, that thing's tight. This thing should uh, just come out now. Let's give it a shot. Give it a nice quick little shot. Am I forgetting anything? Nah. Yep, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, looks like we're gonna replace it from here and from here. I don't know why, but they, they put black spray paint here. Black spray paint? Interesting. So we're gonna replace it from here, here, here. Yep, exactly. Damage everywhere. Hmm? For what? For this? This thing just. Oh, that was easy. Yeah, I think it's a 10? Yeah, it's a 10. Where did this little guy come from? Hold on, let me get my light. Where did this little guy come from? Am I gonna demonetize for this? This is pretty quick. And that's taking out the rocker panel, side skirt, whatever you like to call it. Coming out pretty smoothly. It's just a couple clips and I think 10 mils. And it should come out like that. We can finish taking out the fender. And we do have a fender bracket. We have all these parts already ready to go on the car. Oh, for Even that a little quick clean. Even that a little quick clean before we uh put it inside the car. But there it is. No more side skirt. Now we can take out the bolts for the fender. Let me do that real quick. 
see it? I'll put it there. The two screws. Oh. The two screws for the fender next to the wrench? Yeah, right there. Nice. <laughs> yep, definitely. So put that in there, girl. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, Not too bad. Looks like this part needs to go down a bit. Yeah, for sure. See, you can literally see yeah. the wires. Really the metal different. wires. You can change it. Damn, chain. Now y'all can get a better look at these tires, bro. Look at them, bro. Come on, bro. These tires are looking... Wow. No wonder this dude crashed. Look at that. You can see... Can, can it focus? The metal sticking out. It looks more wired. Bro, these are like smooth. Real smooth. Supposed to use extension. Oh, it's broken anyways. Mm -hmm. uh, it's supposed to use extension. Nice. Yeah. No, but this, this is not that bad. I think here is the biggest thing right here. Now we can take out the tire and go for a test drive. <laughs> Well, now we're going to take out the airbox thing. Then we got to take a 10 mil to take this one out. See if we can use it with this. Bore. Can it bore? Oh yeah, that came out smooth. Of course it fell. This thing's bent though. I don't think you're supposed to take this thing out like that. I just did. Just did. I nah, that thing is super bent. You, you can put pressure here if you want. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright. Why am I using a power tool? Let me know. Let me use a wrench. Let me smart with it. For the second, sorry. Oh, that thing's tight, anyways. Real tight. I hear fire. No. Yes. It'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see it. Massaging the metal. You know, better to pull it from here like that, right? No, but 
put it like that and then push out. Like this and then put push it like that this way. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Is that new? Oh, that looks old. Oh, it broke the. <laughs> oh, that's fine. What? The bracket there? It's no, it's broken. More parts. Not loose. Checking out the damage. More damage. More damage. Damage. Carnage. More damage. But car is looking pretty good. This is our main work right here. Looks pretty good. Chassis looks pretty straight. No problems there. Just mainly rated support and this part which it has a name but i don't remember the name don't call me on it and uh yeah also we have to remove this power steering thing but for now honestly it'll be fine we don't need to remove that yet because then we have to you know add fluid to the system there's no point i might just loose it up or whatever i took out the headlight on this side i'm looking pretty good so everything else is removed we have here the front bumper the also a bumper we have the air box uh we have the fender radiator fan the filter the two headlights a couple other trim pieces underskirt we took out the side skirt we have this bald tire right there super bald um yeah ready to do some work on this project are we gonna drill it now yeah. Okay. Let's get to it then. Sorry. Alrighty, so we have finally removed the whole radiator support, everything that was holding it. We didn't even have to take out the radiator because we're not good. The upper uh, radiator support because we didn't remove this portion right here, which we could have, but there was really no point. And we straightened this part out and it's ready to be welded back on. We're going to do a splice weld here and here and that we don't have to replace this whole section right here because that's easily fixable right here. It's just a little, just hit it in a little, weld it up. Uh, this part, I loosened the fender, but I didn't have to take it all the way out, but I can drill these out. And as you can see, it's time for me to eat because it's like seven-ish. That means we took everything, oops, we took everything out and like, I'm gonna say an hour and a half, I could review the footage later on to see how long we spent taking this out. But it was pretty quick. 
take out the front bumper, the front there, the headlights, the side skirt, all those pieces, intake, ready to support, bumper. We took out a lot of pieces. It was pretty simple and straightforward. Time to eat. So we're going to be taking this Subaru apart so we can put it, use it, all the parts from the parts car, the radio support, the hood, the fender, so let's get straight to it. So of course my hyperlast stopped working while I was working and I didn't realize it, but we took out the fender, the rocker panel, the radio support, the fender, the bumper, the fender liner. Whatever the intake thing is, took out the radio support, is over there. My dad's cleaning it right now. And uh, I'm getting ready to splice this piece in. Uh, I've been drilling it out. And we're gonna splice it to the other car, same thing here. It's already loose here and there. So let me take it out. Now, while I was taking apart this car, my dad was finishing the bodywork for this door. He applied the second layer of Bondo, or second coat. We're gonna sand it again, and then do a wet sand. Not to that, but polyester putty, finish it up. And this should be a nice finish here. We'll throw some primer and call it a day. And we're taking out this. Now that we could replace the hood with the hinges and all. Anyways, let's get straight to work. We clean this piece up to fit the new one in, and that we can also put on the radio support. Oh. 
So this is the car you're fixing? I can't tell who's right or who's wrong. See, y'all need my help. Five dollars. What about you, Paul? Oh, speaking of money. I have a dentist appointment. I don't need it now. I need it uh, next month, okay? So you can just edit the part out. Don't be exposed to our business. You might be the one. A long video. All oh, right, your face. I keep pulling your face. A long video. What the hell do with that? That's the letter. Oh, that hurts my arm. What? My arm is getting cramped. There. Okay, you feel like one. Four minutes? There's actually two minutes. Oh, I mean the All right, so we put the radio port on there with two rivets. We put two on the fender, the hood, and we're aligning everything up. Mm -hmm. Editing. Anyways, we want to get everything ready to weld. Yeah. We're using the prime weld welder. Unfortunately, I'm using the wrong wire, so I'm having a lot of issues, but hopefully it'll be all right. Fender alignment looks good. Also on this side. It's not close, but that's fine. Yeah. It's too open. All right, so we tacked everything in place. We tacked the bottom, well, we welded the bottom already. And we aligned everything, checked the body lines, the body gaps, the headlights, everything but the bumper, it should be fine. And 
Now we're going to take everything back apart yet again. It's a very time consuming process of putting everything on and out and checking out your body lines and making sure it's nice and good because once you weld it, that's it. Um, we're going to take everything apart again so we can do a nice final weld, put the car back together and call it a day. Alright, so now we're going to be changing the tires from this car to this car because these tires on this car is terrible. I mean terrible, I mean real terrible. Like These things are up to the wire if I could find it. Wire, 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 wire. Yeah, there you go. You see the wire sticking out there. So, we're going to replace this one. This one's flat all the way. And this one's just bald. We're going to end up replacing all four. But for right now, just two, so let's get straight into doing that. Bald. Tires are all changed, they're ready to put on the car. Let's get back home. Alrighty, so I got everything all done. It's all welded, painted, ready to slap all the new slash used parts on there. This is the headlight from the red parts car. And we're gonna slap it on here. Uh, we might either put a different headlight or clean this one up. You know, we, we know our stuff. And I'm gonna throw on a fun bumper for now, temporarily. And then continue from there. Alrighty, so the front end is complete. Everything lined up so perfect that even this little clip here that usually most super thrusters, they never fit the clip, actually bolts on, on both sides. On this side it does too, you just need to put a little pressure, boom, lines up. So better than OEM, which is crazy. Uh, man, with that Porsche, sheesh. Um, brand new used headlight from the red parts car, right here, and this is the front bumper of the a long time ago frame damage and we're putting on here for, and temporarily we do have a new front bumper that we're going to put on soon and we ordered it it's just not here yet door is all primed in hood lines up uh all that stuff pretty much is to install the cow which i was going to install but we're missing something there that we're waiting on and the duct for the intake which we do have i just don't want to put it on there because like i said we ordered a new bumper there's no point in adding it if we're just going to be using this one temporarily and yeah pretty much the cars together we change the tires oil change it's looking pretty good uh right now i'm just charging the battery that's why it looks like this uh because the battery's dead because i guess the light was on or something and killed the battery 
so that we can start this thing up and move it around. All right, let's see if this thing how to start for me. We got lights. Ooh, light is working. Does this in the light work? It works. High beam. Good. I forgot this thing has no mufflers. Not bad. Really not bad. This is the best interior we had so far. This car only has 116,000 miles. Um, this thing has no muffler, so sounds kind of louder than normal, obviously. After that, after that, we placed these two broken headlights from this to this. So we're gonna take this thing on its first ever test drive because I've never had a test drive before. Uh, right now it has no mufflers like we have spoken. And now there's no more check engine lights since we replaced that. So yeah, we'll let this thing warm up. We're gonna switch the cars, the rest over there. And yeah, let's get straight to it. I finally got the exhaust on, it's from the parts car. Uh, over there, I ordered a new flange because the flange broke on this car. So we're gonna, I ordered a new one, it should be here shortly. But like that, the exhaust is not hanging out everywhere. I put it on, this is an aftermarket exhaust for this car and yeah. All nicely installed. The red and black with the black. Yes, the battery. I 
started it up. It's already way quieter than before. It's not loud. Obviously it has an exhaust leak because it's not bolted up in the middle on the downpipe. But it's all right. Oh, because you cut it into pieces. Yeah, you have everything set up, but it's right. Huh? In a couple of months, we're going to get back to work on this car. We're going to be removing this front bumper that's no good and replacing it with a brand new bumper that we purchased and replacing the grill as well. So let's get straight into it. Alrighty, so the front end is back together. All said and done with the grill, fog lights, and everything. Still needs to put the under fenders and everything that goes underneath. But for now, I'm gonna give the car a very deserved wash. Um, it's pretty bad. We haven't washed it in a couple months, and um, especially on the inside, I am cleaning it out a bit. But it's like so bad. Let me show you inside. Look at that. It's really bad in here. It's time to get clean. Now, the car was finally pretty much done. Almost all it needed was a paint job, and then a couple months later, this happens. This happened in the parking lot where the car sat for a couple months, and it was pretty much a hit and run because no one told us, hey, I hit your car and nothing. We just found it like that. Which sucks, so we need a hood, we need to pull the radiator. So now I'm here underneath the car, I'm gonna show you guys why we're parting out this car. This is the Number one. Look at this stuff frame. Look at this. Look at the axle, look at that. It's all pretty bad. Um, uh, drive shaft. That's why they changed the exhaust. Um, that's all pretty rusty. And the whole stuff right in the front is rusty. It's just real bad, look at all up in there. This is not worth it. Not worth it. <laughs> so this car, like I said, we were parting it out. Here we're removing the motor and transmission off the car. Uh, just removing the front end, which was already in pieces. And these motors are easy to work on. They come out fairly easy. And we removed it in like two hours. Not too bad. Probably less, to be honest, because everything was already unhooked. Um, but pretty simple process and glad we put it out this car. Thank you for watching this video. This was one of my longest videos I've ever posted. If you guys enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching till the end of the video. You guys are goats and gotta catch up in the next video. Peace and God bless.